Alright, so this time here we have the Racer Star BR1106 3800KV uh, I think this is the only 1106 that Racer Star makes and it's only on 3800KV which is uh, I don't know if this KV is high enough for most of the flying that people are doing with these size motors anyway a big uh, I think a big uh, portion of the people using these motors uh, w want uh, one and four fast quads so uh, I think they're looking for higher KV somewhere in the 5,000 to 7,000 KV for 3S and around 8, 7,000 to 8,000 for 2S so 3,800 KV uh, for 3S would uh, probably just be just about enough to to get a quad in the uh, a macro quad in the air at a decent speed but you would definitely need 4s I think if you you know if you want to get the same level of thrust as as we're getting from the other 1106s with the higher kV uh, especially the 6000 kV motors but anyway uh, I had bought this a uh, while back and I've had so many motors to test so I just never got around to testing it so I kept putting it aside and then finally I've been testing 1105-1106 motors so I thought uh, you know I thought I'd squeeze it in so here it is uh, so let's look at it uh, pretty standard build on this motor uh, nothing fancy about it it's a uh, racer stars uh, they're known for budget motors so let's see how it's constructed uh, let's see if uh, the price doesn't reflect uh, the uh, quality uh, so let's see what it weighs and that's with uh, this come with uh, it's about 60 millimeters uh, worth of wire which is kind of short uh, for most foreign ones you probably want at least 80 or 100 millimeters for this size motor just to have enough wire so let's see what it weighs with this wire 6.2 grams so I don't know I guess that's a okay weight uh, these motors don't vary that much because they're so small, uh, you know, uh, six, six grams, seven grams. Not a lot of difference. So now let's, uh, we'll look at it on the uh, magnifying glass. We'll take that clip off and uh, look it up close. All right, so here it is under the magnifying glass. It uses a standard E-clip and, and no bronze washer. Uh, so it's the typical construction with where the the shaft is just pressed into into the bell. So it kind of suffers from the same uh, symptom. If you use those tight props and you keep pressing the shaft, uh, the shaft pushes back, and then you get with vertical play. So and the other videos I've uh, gone over how to avoid that uh, by a couple of techniques. So. Uh, check out those videos if you want to see how that's uh, done. Let's see the shaft is 1.5 millimeters all the way through and uh, as you can see the the stator and copper kind of seem like a little spares so it doesn't look like they use a lot of copper on this motor compared to others uh, from what I recall it seemed like the other ones had a little bit more copper than this this looks this looks pretty like pretty low amount of copper there so that's uh, you know if that's the case then that's not gonna make for a very strong motor and the stator is it's six millimeters nominal so no surprises there uh, so that's the only thing I could notice is about the amount of copper on the stator. Magnets look uh, pretty standard, nothing out of the ordinary there. So we'll see how it performs uh, on 3S and 4S. But you know, 4S on these micro builds, I don't know that uh, anybody's running 4S. Most people I've seen they run 2S and and 3S. 4S seems a little bit cumbersome to use uh, uh, 4S battery packs, especially on the small sizes, uh, you know, like anywhere from uh, 350 to, uh, I don't know, 650 or, uh, yeah, I guess around 650 would be the largest battery pack that you would want to use. 
but for S650 would be kind of heavy for I think for uh, two to three inch props with this with motors like this. So in reality, I think uh, they they should have they should do a higher KV version of this motor and you know use a little bit more copper. But uh, we'll see we'll see what it does on the thrust stand and uh, that's gonna tell us how the motor performs. So let's move on to the thrust test. Alright, so let's look at the results for the Racer Star VR1106 3800KV. The motor actually measured at exactly 3800KV. Uh, well, not exactly, but very close, very close. So that's the true KV of the motor. So I tested on 3S and 4S based on that uh, KV. I thought uh, those would be the, the best matching voltages to test. And the usual props, uh, quite a lot of props actually uh, two inch from all the way from uh, two inch all the way to three inch uh, so as you can see the motor this motor doesn't perform like extraordinarily meaning you know compared to the other motors I've tested the 1106 5000 6000 8000 kV motors and, and even some 1105s uh, they're doing uh, a higher thrust than this. So this one actually the only props that seem to work well on 4S are uh, the 3 inch props. On 3S even the even the 3 inch props are kind of on the low side. So this motor is probably best for a very light build uh, you know something that you're just gonna be cruising around. It's highly efficient though you know like because you know you're not making that much thrust so it, it's just barely used in any amps. I think this KV is just too low uh, it needs to be at least 5,000 or higher, you know, five to 6,000, 6,500, uh, so that it runs well on 2 and 3S. So not the most uh, exciting motor, but uh, you know, it'll work. Uh, it'll work fine. Uh, the price is quite good. Uh, it's not that expensive. Uh, so just quickly, let's uh, do a side by side with another motor that I tested recently, the real ACC 6, 1106 6000. Okay, so here's the 
Real AC 6000 KV on the left and the Racer Star 1106 on the right. So let's look at the best performing props that start with the 3 inch. So as you can see the Real AC is doing 300 grams uh, easily with the 3 inch props on uh, this is on 3S and while this motor on 4S it uh, is just barely clearing 200 uh, grams. So that's quite a big difference, especially considering this is on 4S, which, uh, you know, it's kind of, it'd be kind of cumbersome on any of these micro quads. As we see for this size, it's more advantageous to have a higher KV. On the two inch props, this motor is just not, uh, not doing too well, you know, like this uh, uh, Rotor X cut from the two and a half inch props. On 3S, 111 and 4S, 145 and the real ACC on 3S is doing 206 so you know it's about 50 to 60 more grams of course the amps are going to be a lot higher not uh, extraordinary performance uh, I don't know if, uh, if people have been using this for uh, fast uh, micro quads um, I haven't searched YouTube to see what people are using this on but anyways those are the uh, trust uh, results and the comparison against the other higher KV motors if you if you're looking for like a hot micro quad so of course you, you want to go with a higher KV and if you're looking for something just to put along just to cruise around and you know don't have to worry about uh, running out of battery within two three minutes uh, you can use one of these lower KV motors this will probably fly for longer at uh, slower speed of course Alright, I uh, hope you find that useful and until the next video. Thanks for watching.